So, if you are getting 20 frames per second in CS2, you can still get a smooth 60 frames per second on any PC. Hello, this is Low End Gaming and welcome to a step-by-step -step guide to get 60 frames per second in CS2 on any PC. For the maximum results, make sure to follow me to the end. So, as you have seen the results let's see the process and get started without wasting any time. For the step 1, we will change the in-game settings to the lowest possible. Open your game, and go to video settings. Set display mode to full screen, and for resolution it's totally your choice. Just remember, lower the resolution more the performance for lower end PCs. So, choose what's best for you. Now, go to advanced video settings. Here change all the settings to lowest possible or just follow me and do as I do and copy my settings. Now, after this, play your game and see the difference. Don't compare my FPS to yours. Let's move to the next step. Go to Steam. Library. Right-click on CS2 and go to Properties. Copy the launch commands from the description below, and paste all here. Now, add one more command. Dash threads. And write number of threads your CPU So, my CPU has 8 threads, so I will write here 9. Yours may be different. Now, right-click on CS2 and click on Browse Local Files. Game. CSGO. CFG. Go down in the description and download the autoexec file and paste it here. Now, we are done with the process. Just open your game. Open the console and type exec autoexec and press enter. Here you can see the autoexec file is activated. Now, enjoy your game. Well, you followed all the steps till here and you are still stuck at that 20, 30 or 40 frames per second mark. Don't worry, let's take it directly to 60 frames per second. Download and install MSI Afterburner. Open the Riva Tuner, app which is installed with the MSI Afterburner. Under the frame rate limit type your FPS number. That is if you are getting 20 type 20, if getting 30 type 30. But make sure you getting, a constant 20 frames per second or 30 frames per second or whichever number your game is capped at. Press enter and open your game. Now, your game will run at the FPS that it is capped to. I have capped it to 20. Now go game settings and set the display mode to windowed. Go down in the description below and install the lossless scaling app it is a paid software, but you are smart enough to know what to do if you don't have any money. Make sure that your software settings are same as mine. Click on scale and immediately switch to your game window and boom your game will start running at greater FPS. Well, don't worry the MSI afterburner can't show that, but trust me it's running in smooth 60 frames per second you can see the difference. Well remember you can't get a higher FPS than your refresh rate of your monitor, I am assuming most of the people watching this video has a low end PC, which has a refresh rate of 60. The app, generate 3 times the FPS to which the game is capped to. Like, I capped it to 20. 20 times 3 is 60 and I am getting 60 frames per second. If you capped it to 40. 40 times 3 is 120, but you will get only 60 frames per second because, as I said you can't get a higher FPS than your refresh rate of your monitor. You can experiment with this software and see what works best for you. Well, I hope you watched and followed all the steps shown in this video. But still one step is remaining, that is optimizing your PC for more performance. If you have Windows 10 click here and for Windows 11 click here.